Hey guys, and welcome to Subject 13. <laughs> Made by Microids. See what this game has to offer me. Okay. Looks like we teleported somewhere. Somewhere mysterious. Welcome, Subject 13. Mm hmm? Don't worry. You can hear me, but you can't see me. Mm hmm. And that is perfectly normal. Okay. How do you feel? Terrible. <laughs> what do you. Really? Journey? What journey? Same. Come to that later, Subject 13. Tell me, instead, what you last recall. I... I jumped in the river. Okay. All right. Hmm. Can I turn this thing? What about this thing right here? Uh. Press that. My guess is right here. Three nine nine zero three nine nine one nine one two. Probably gonna have to write that down. Or that. Ah, okay. I did it. Perfect, subject 13. Now that you have regained all your faculties, I'm sure we'll form a great team. Okay. A team? What are you talking about? And where the hell are we? Please calm yourself. You are in your new home. It'll take time to get used to this, subject 13. You will receive instructions as we go along. Okay. Stop calling me that. I have a name. Franklin. Franklin Fargo. Names mean nothing here. Subject 13. Okay. Let's go. 
That's us. We look great. Look over here. Look at this. Uh. Mm hmm. Look at that. Uh. Go, go over here. All right. Let's take a close look at it. Let's open the door with it. Oh, it looks like I need a key. Alright. Alright. Look over here. Come on, man. Look faster. Right. Placed in you is finally going to pay off. Finally? What are you talking about? I have long known of the potential of your intellect, Subject 13. But that is of no importance. At least not for you. How about we begin with a small challenge to stretch the neurons? What choice do I have? Life is only a matter of choice and probability, Subject 13. We simply have to learn to adapt to the consequences. You do know the game Tic-Tac-Toe? Like everyone, I guess. Then it will be a piece of cake. The aim here is to inverse the usual rules. You have to press six buttons, but never form a complete line. It certainly shouldn't pose any problem to such a brilliant researcher as yourself. Ex-researcher. All I can tell you for now is that it will stimulate your mind. And it will be mutually advantageous to both me and you.
October 29th, 2010. Dear team, following yesterday's events, the violent incidents involving the locals have reached a new low. I advise you to adopt the greatest caution. Do not go out unless you absolutely have to, and never unarmed. In contravention of procedure, Professor F has not rubber-stamped this decision. But I'm sure he would approve, as soon as he deigns to stick his nose outside Lab 2. Aaron Velasquez, Research Assistant. P.S. Thanks for all your messages about Misty Green. I bring tidings, both good and bad for you, Subject 13. Which would you like to hear first? Let's get the bad news out of the way. I should have been totally honest with you. There is a lot of bad news. The first is that the island's former occupants have blocked all the exits to the complex. And the second is they were then brutally massacred. Give me the good news. You may be imprisoned in this complex, but you are in total security on this island. And didn't you say there was good news? Don't be so negative, Subject 13. You have to find a way out of here. Look around you. Maybe there are interesting clues to be found.
2012. How can I explain what happened? A false move? A short circuit? Suddenly the machine started up by accident while I was checking the translation module circuit boards. There was a huge noise and bright lights, and I lost consciousness for a few moments. Everything was my fault. If only I had waited for her return from lunch, the accident would probably never have happened. The upshot is that I woke up here in this abandoned complex. I've been locked up here for several days now, and I haven't seen a soul. All I found are the memo recorders that I'm using to leave this message. I shall start exploring the island tomorrow. We'll be back with another episode, guys.